An inverted siphon is a conduit carrying a liquid between two reservoirs with different water levels, in which the pipe pressure will be larger to much larger than atmospheric. In the inverted siphon, the liquid flow from the upper to the lower reservoir. The inverted siphon may be used to carry water supply, sewage, storm water understream, roadways, or some depression in the ground. Shallow inverted siphons are sometimes called culverts. Illustrate two modern inverted siphon systems. First, the Toyohashi Tahara Aqueduct in Japan. The aqueduct brings water supply to the Tahara Peninsula. The second photo shows the intake of the inverted siphon, which carry water beneath a major roadway. In the photo, the water flows from the right to the left. The second structure is an inverted siphon at Pine Tar Road along the Hydropower Canal, connecting Pine Tar, Pine Tar Dam to Bronte Lagoon, and ultimately will be turbine at Tongatina Power Station. The first two photographs present the pipeline looking upstream. The last two photographs show first the intake structure, and which is a canal reaching the intake of the inverted siphon and then the pipe reaching the outlet of the inverted siphons. The inverted siphon design was used in antiquity, in particular along an, along a number of Roman aqueducts. In Aspendos, built during the 3rd century AD, the way aqueduct supplies the city of Acropolis and was in operation for more than 100 years. Its inverted siphon consisted of three sections, and was altogether nearly 1.6 km long. The lower section was 4.6 m below the inlet and 32 m below the outlet. In modern France, the Gere Roman aqueduct was 86 km long and was supplying the city of Lugdunum, nowadays Lyon, and it was equipped with four inverted siphons. The first photograph shows the inverted siphon inlet tower at Soucieux uh, for the crossing of the Garonne River. On the pipe openings that we see here, we are basically the start of the inverted siphon. This intake tower at Chaponneau for the Isron River crossing. On the second photograph, we see the masonry ramp, masonry ramp sorry, going downhill towards the Isron River Valley. On this two photographs now, show the Saffron Bridges at Bonan, with the yellow arrow pointing to the bridge structure. On the second structure, detailing the massive siphon bridge in the township of Bonan. The inverted siphon typically operates as a pipe flow on the application of the energy equation between the upstream and downstream reservoirs give a relationship between the drop in reservoir elevation, delta H, and the velocity in the siphon. The velocity, V, is further given by the equation of conservation of mass, the velocity being the volume discharge divided by the cross-section area of the siphon, on combining the equation of conservation of mass and conservation of energy, we obtain a relationship between the discharge BQ in the inverted siphon and the difference delta H in water level elevation between the two reservoirs. The inverted siphon is sometimes called improperly a siphon. This expression is incorrect because the siphon is a pipe connecting two reservoirs at different water level in which the liquid pressure becomes less than atmospheric, with this photograph illustrated a true siphon in which the water is lifted upward to pass over the weir. The operation of inverted siphons on siphons constitute a basic application of fluid mechanics to open channel hydraulics, hydraulic structure and aqueducts. This is further discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same channel. Thank you.